Yeah, I'm I'm gonna look over uh in this game, Steve. Uh it, it to me, you start adding these things up and it looks like a recipe for offense here. Iowa at home this season, and again, this is an overall number, right? 91.9.1 points per game. So 91 points a game at home overall. That goes down to 79.4 inside the conference, but still almost 80 a game inside the conference. Obviously, better Big Ten defenses at home. When they faced a couple of lesser defenses like this Ohio State one, they played Nebraska, which ranks 10th. They played Michigan, which ranks 13th. They scored 94 and 80 in both of those games. So Iowa plays to the level of competition. They always have. I don't know that there's much different with this team since Fran McCaffrey took it over years ago. Um, But Ohio State, like I say, they fit right into that lower level defensive category. As far as Big Ten play is concerned, they rank 12th. They're giving up 78.6 a game on the road. You have to expect Iowa's going to be able to score points here. Top it off, Ohio State is last in the Big Ten in three-point defense. Now, if this were a vintage Iowa shooting team, that would really be trouble. But I still think it could be problematic here. They still have guys that can shoot it like Peyton Sandefort. So Ohio State doesn't bring much resistance defensively into Carver-Hawkeye tonight. However... The Iowa defense is always a concern, right? They haven't played good defense for quite some time. Again, not much has changed during the Fran McCaffrey era. Um, Probably a welcome sight for Ohio State. What Ohio State does well and what they need to do in order to manufacture points all season long is score from inside the three-point arc. Fifty, Almost 51% of their points come from inside the arc. Iowa owns the league's worst two-point defense. Um, They don't block a lot of shots. They don't put up a lot of fight inside. Um, so without any rim protection, Ohio State's guards are good at getting to the rim too. So there's not a lot there for Iowa to stop or to stop Ohio State from scoring. I think Ohio State finds their way to the rim. I think they get theirs. We probably get a track meet to ensue because at home, Iowa is usually able to dictate tempo. Most home teams are. Ohio State likes to go slow, but they'll probably get sped up here a little bit. Both of these teams, for what it's worth, overall in the nation, they sit inside the top 45 in offensive efficiency. So you've got two teams with way better offenses than defenses. I think Iowa, which comes off their worst shooting game this season against Indiana on Tuesday, I think it was. They only shot 35.4% from the floor. Worst game of the year. I think they bounced back here. And Ohio State's on a 3-0 and over streak. I think they beat the closing number by 3.5, by 7, and by 15 in their last three. So three straight overs. I'm going to play this one over. I thought 156 and a half was a little bit low for a game that looks like it should hit 160 plus. Ohio State, Iowa, going to play it up and over the number. 